Our Prophet ﷺ is recorded that he said, you are in a time, meaning the companions, are in a time where there are many learned people in this religion that truly understand the religion. There are few orators. Those giving are much more than those asking. Action in this time is better than knowledge. But there will come a time when the fuqaha, those who understand this faith, are few and the orators will be many. Many will be asking and few will be giving. And in that time, knowledge will be greater than action. I want to mention something that one of our greatest scholars said. Imam al-Shatabi, who wrote the magisterial work at Muwafaqat, said in that book, there is a report in a hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ said, the best of generations is my generation, and then comes those who follow them, and then those who follow them. Imam al-Shatabi says, in this tradition, there's an indication that the status of each following generation with respect to what went before it will be like this. It is related from the Prophet that he said, at the beginning of your religion will be prophethood and mercy, followed by domination and mercy and then by domination and coercion, and then by cruel domination. And then Imam Shatabi says, this is not possible unless good becomes scarce, when evil competes with it, gradually gaining ground. What we are discussing is included under this absolute meaning, the creeping villainy that Kierkegaard mentions, that is so undiscernible when it first emerges and yet continues to creep until villainy becomes a norm. He says, there is no year that is followed except by one that is more evil. I did not say that it rained more in the previous year or that there was more fertility in one year than the other or that one ruler was better in one year compared to another. Rather, I mean by it the disappearance of the best among you, the disappearance of your scholars. Finally, a group will rise up who will settle things according to their personal views, thus attempting to demolish Islam and defiling it. In another hadith, the Prophet said, knowledge will be snatched away by the taking away of scholars along with their knowledge, leaving behind ignorant people who will be asked to settle matters, and they will do so on the basis of their personal views, thus being misguided and misguiding others. The Prophet ﷺ said, Islam began as a strange thing, and it will revert to the estrangement with which it began. Blessed be the strangers. It was said, who are those strangers, O Messenger of God? And he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they will be the strangers from all the various clans. In one narration, they said, they are those who set matters right when things go wrong with the people. It is related that Abu Dris al Khawlani said, Islam is bare with the people attached to it, but it will be torn away thread by thread. In other words, Islam is a naked thing, and it's the beauty of the people that adorn its nakedness. If you strip away those beautiful people, you leave it naked. We're living in a time where people associate Boko Haram with Islam. We're living a time when people don't think of Imam al-Ghazali or Fakhuddin al-Razi or all of these great giants that went before us. They think of ignorant people and too many people believe that this is Islam. There is a historian who wrote a book recently, Why the West Won. And he said in that book, the most fundamental key to the rise of Western civilization has been the dedication of so many of its most brilliant minds to the pursuit of knowledge, not to illumination, not to enlightenment, not to wisdom, but to knowledge. And the basis for this commitment to knowledge was their Christian commitment to theology. This holds immense truth to it, but the difference is that they lost their theology. Their knowledge was divorced from illumination, from wisdom. And so now technology is literally threatening us. If you have been following what's in store for us with virtual worlds being created, we have to restore sanity to knowledge. And this will take an immense effort. And I close with a hadith from Al-Hakim, some consider it to be Hassan, a good hadith, that Ibn Abbas said, seek knowledge, for it is the intimate friend of the believer. Forbearance is the minister of knowledge. Intellect is its guide. Action is its pivot. Benevolent character, its father. Gentleness, its brother. And patience is the general of its armies.